was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could ever feed me. Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we're talking about Eggs Benedict Pizza, which if you're like, why Eggs Benedict Pizza? Uh, if you watched the last video, you'll know that I am now taking suggestions on what I should make next. So if you have a suggestion for a, a kind of pizza that you want me to see, want me to make, um, just comment below or hit me up on social media or whatever, and uh, I will put it in the queue. So today, uh, Steph suggested Eggs Benedict Pizza, so that's what we're gonna do. Before we start though, please remember to subscribe below uh, and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I do upload new videos. Thank you. So if you don't know what Eggs Benedict is, an Eggs Benedict is a poached egg on an English muffin covered in hollandaise sauce, some kind of bacon or ham is included, and then maybe some greens. But that's a tip, that's a very typical Eggs Benedict. There's tons of variations, but that's the standard. So Steph suggested this Eggs Benedict pizza, and she actually provided a recipe for me. Um, she uses crescent rolls for the, for the base, but I'm gonna actually use pizza dough. Um, and then I'm, I guess I'm following her instructions pretty closely. I, there may be some wiggle room there, but it's uh, essentially gonna have a layer of eggs, a layer of ham, and then some cheese and hollandaise sauce. So it sounds good, so hopefully it turns out. So here we are, here is the finished pizza. Uh, it looks really good, it smells really good. Um, a couple observations while I was making it. I wasn't sure how to cook the eggs. I wasn't sure if I should cook them beforehand and then, and then risk them overcooking in the oven because I wanted to put it, the pizza in the oven for a full 10, 12 minutes, um, which I did not actually. It only took about seven or eight because the pizza was about half the size of a regular pizza, so I'm glad I checked it <laughs> before then. Um, so it's a little well done, but uh, I think it's still gonna be delicious. So let's just get into it. So that was delicious. Um, I think the only thing that I would change is figuring out a way, better way to cook the eggs on the pizza because it does, um, cook a lot, especially when I, I tried not to cook the scram, the eggs too much on the pan, but they, they overcooked eventually. I mean, it's, it's good, but I think maybe next time cracking some eggs on top of the pizza, um, would be awesome. I think that would taste really good. And I think 10, 12 minutes would be a, enough time to cook them. So that's my only suggestion. Maybe, maybe use some more hollandaise sauce, make it a little more pronounced because it's kind of weak right now. So, but overall, Thank you, Steph, for the awesome suggestion. It was tasty. So now it's time to spin the wheel that's attached to my head um, for next week's pizza. So here we go. What's it gonna be? Number eight. So here we have envelope number eight. So let's see what the pizza is. Next week's pizza is pork chop and applesauce. Yay! So next week we're gonna to try to incorporate pork chops and applesauce into a pizza. 
wish me luck. So thanks guys for watching as always. Uh, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe below, hit the notification bell, uh, like up this video if you like it. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, whatever. Um, also, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and until next time, ciao for now. Was the son of a pizza man, yes he was, he was.